Hey guys, Mr. Wood back here. You can see my lips and my mustache. Uh, back here for another short lesson. Just going to review balancing equations in chapter six. And so uh, I'm going to post this for the Monday after Thanksgiving so you guys uh, can watch. And I really need you practicing stuff. What's going to be due after Thanksgiving is I think it's problem. Uh, it's it's going to be, I'm going to work on this worksheet today, a couple of problems. I've got them on the board behind me. This is going to be due. Now, this is not going to be due the Monday after Thanksgiving, but I think I'll make it due to the Tuesday. The other handout that I'm going to have you guys do, I'm going to work a couple on this handout today, is this handout. And it's problem, I'll have to look it up. I'll, I'll tell you definitely. I think it's number 14, 18, and... 40. It's just like three problems in chapter six. Okay, so man, I'm at home, as you can tell. I'm not at work and not at school right now, but I and I'm fine. I'm fine. I actually had the virus back in um, in March, and so I've got antibodies. I've given my blood a couple times because I got the stuff to fight it. So I'm fine. I just am at home, and <clears throat> I uh, wanted just to have a lesson for you guys on Monday just more practice on balancing and I so I'm, I don't have a joke so I'm thinking here and I came up with two and you're, you're gonna go these are stupid but here they are so joke number one you'll know this one why was six so scared of seven why was six so scared of seven because seven eight nine I know you've heard that one before now how about this one if two is company and three is a crowd what are four and five nine Nine. And you go, those are terrible jokes. Okay, so let me just kind of review real quick what we, uh, chapter six is truly a one day chapter. And the plan is going to be, guys, that we are going to get through, uh, we're going to get through chapter six and we'll do this again. You'll have an assignment due and you're just going to have a short quiz that I'll, I'll put on Canvas and I'll put on my website. And then that'll be turned in on Tuesday, and then boom, by Tuesday, just by, I'll say, midnight on Tuesday. And then we're, boom, we're going in Chapter 7. We're going to get through Chapter 7. And then our final will be on 6 and 7 with some review. And I haven't figured it out exactly how we're going to do that. But real quick, I've talked about this. I'm not going to spend time now. But this is what this unit is on. And really, we're Chapter 8, which we'll do after, into 2021 after Christmas vacation, but we will, uh, they, they're really chapter six, seven, and eight all go together. So it's on chemical reactions, chemical equations. So we've talked about all this. I just wanted a real quick review. The key thing in chapter six is balancing equations. And so in any chemical reaction, atoms are never created or destroyed. This is called the law of conservation of mass. So we've got to show in every reaction, the total number of atoms remain constant. And that's the idea behind balancing equations. Equations. The rules, like I said, it's kind of like a puzzle. And I'm going to do a couple more examples for you here to, uh, today. You got to have the same number of each type of atom on both sides of the equation. So you got to got to do an accounting. The rule number two, you can change the coefficients, the numbers in front, but you cannot change the subscripts, the lowercase numbers. I always do oxygen at the very end, hydrogen second from the end. And then my little hint, which is always dangerous because it kind of opens up a, a door, but if there's a lone element, you can use a half number only on a lone element. And I'm gonna actually do one like that today. And once you've balanced it with a half number, then you're gonna multiply all the coefficients by two. Okay, so the problem, so I am on, and this is a front and back, and I've done some on the front. And I've done some on the back. So I'm actually going to start down here. I'm going to start on number 15. I'm going to do 15, 16, 17. I'll give you the answer for 18. And then I want to look at the other worksheets. So, so here is number 15. Okay, so my first thing I always do is accounting. So I'm going to do phosphorus, hydrogen, and oxygen. I'm going to do that on both sides. So what I'm doing here is accounting. So I'm going to count these up. And I always do oxygen at the end. Hydrogen second from the end if they're present. Okay, so I have four, four phosphorus. I have two hydrogens, and I have 10 plus 1, 11 oxygens. Over here, I have one phosphorus. I have three hydrogens. I have four oxygens. Okay, so to balance this, 
So I need four phosphorus over here. Remember what you cannot do, what you cannot do is this. That's against the rules. Like a basketball coach, so if you grab the ball and you just run 10 feet without, or 10 steps without dribbling, it's a, against the rules. So referee, he or she will blow their whistle. They'll say traveling, other team's ball. You can't be going for a rebound and just take and shove somebody. That's a foul. Those are the rules. Well, those are the rules here. You can't put a four here. So you got to put a four here. And this four, remember, distributes and you multiply. So this, this makes me now have four phosphorus, but now four times three, you always multiply. So 12 hydrogens and four times four, 16 oxygens. Okay, so I balance phosphorus. Now the hydrogen, so I have 12 here and two here. So if I put a six here, six times two is 12. So that balances the hydrogen and then oxygen, that change oxygen, so 10 plus six, gave me 16, so I've got the same number of phosphorus on both sides, the same number of hydrogens, the same number of oxygens. So this is technically the answer, okay? And if it's blank, it means one. You really, you don't have to write in a one. Uh, most people don't, but if you do, it's not wrong. Okay, so then number 16. So again, I've got nitrogen, hydrogen, oxygen. And again, I'm gonna save oxygen and hydrogen till the end. So my accounting, I've got one nitrogen, I've got three hydrogens, I've got two oxygens. Okay, over here I've got one nitrogen, two hydrogens, and again one plus one, two oxygens. Okay, so nitrogen is balanced. Now whenever I have something like this with where I have an odd and an even number, I'm looking at hydrogen, I'm going to take that two and I'm going to put it over here, and I'll take that three and I'll put it over here. I'm going to cross them over. And by doing that, that gives me six N's, or I'm sorry, sorry, six H's, but you're going, wait, you've thrown N out of balance, and you're right. Now I have two N's, so six H's. Over here I've got, let me go back and count. So I've got six H's, but I've changed the O. I have one plus three, I have four. Okay, so now I need to go back and rebalance the N. So i got to put a two there. Again, remember, I can't put a two there. So now I have two N's, but that changed the O's to two plus three. So I have two O's here and three more there is five. Okay, so this is where the half number. So I've got the N and the H balance, but now for the oxygen, the half number. Because right now I want to get, I've got five on this side. Well, if I put a two here, that two times two is four. That won't balance O. And if I put a three here, three times two is six. Again, that wouldn't do it. So I'm going to put 2.5, and that gives me five. And it's balanced. <clears throat> but only do this in front of a lone element. Do not do it in front of something that is <clears throat> a compound like this or this or this. It will never work. But then don't leave it like that. So we're going to double all of these coefficients. So this is going to become four. This is going to become 5, this is going to become 4, and this is going to become 6. Okay, so there is the balanced equation. And there's no doubt, these are like a puzzle that you truly just have to play with. Okay, let me do one more. So I've got carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen. So this is number 17. Carbon, hydrogen, oxygen. So I've got 7 carbons, I've got 6 hydrogens, and I've got 2 plus 2. I have four oxygens. <clears throat> Over here, I've got one carbon. One carbon, I have two hydrogens, and I have two plus one, I have three oxygens. And, and the reason I always leave oxygen till the end is a lot of times it'll just fall into place if I <clears throat> do oxygen at the end because they kind of spread out. Okay, so I need to get seven carbons here. So I put a seven there to get seven carbons, but that's changed the oxygen. So seven times two is 14, and one more makes 15. The carbon is taken care of. Okay, then hydrogens. So I'm going to need to put a three here. Three times two is six. But that again changes the oxygen. So I have seven times two is 14, and three more makes 17. But I've got the carbon and I've got the hydrogen balance. Now the oxygen, it's going to be the same deal. I'm going to need a half number. I've got two here and two here. Well, if I, I, I don't want to change anything about C and H. <clears throat> so I need to get to 17, so I need I need this to attribute 15. Well, again, if I put 7 there, 7 times 2 is 14, 8 times 2 is 16, so I'm going to use 7.5. 7.5 times 2 is 15, 
and two more makes 17 it's all balanced but again i don't want to leave the half number so again if there's one here so i'm just double everything so this is going to become two this is going to become 15 this is going to become 14 and this is going to become six and so there is the balanced equation for that okay and there's no doubt that it, and what I'm going to do on Tuesday, I'm not going to do it on Monday. I want you to practice more of these, but I'll take questions. And then I'll post, again, a quiz that will be, I think it's I think it's seven questions or eight questions. Of those, all but one are just like this. You're already given the equation. Okay, now I want to go to the other handout, which, to be honest with you, I think is a little bit more difficult. So now I'm looking at this handout. Now, on that quiz... I'm only going to give you one like this handout. Okay, so I'm going to do again the bottom two. So here, what we got to do is what you had to do back on the chapter five test, which you're going to have to write out the chemical reaction for what is going on. Okay, so I'm going to do number eight. I'm going to do number eight and number seven. Okay, and then we'll call it a day. Okay, so number eight, so I've got hydrogen. And you got to remember, hydrogen is one of those seven elements that's diatomic. By itself, it's diatomic. Plus nitrogen monoxide. So here we go back of writing the correct formula. Yields. Yields means arrow. Water plus nitrogen. Well, nitrogen is, again, another one of those that is diatomic. So there's the equation. Okay, getting to there is a bit harder. Okay, now I'm going to do the same thing I was doing. So I'm going to do my accounting. Now I'm going to balance it. So I'm going to figure out what are the coefficients going to be. So I've got 1n, I've got 2h's, I've got 1o. Here I've got 2n's, 2h's, and 1o. 2n's, 2h's, 1o. Okay, so n, so I'm going to need to put a 2 there to balance the n's, but that changed the o's to 2. Okay, so the N's good, the H's are good, but the O's are not. So I need to put two here. Remember, this distributes, so that changes the O, it balances the O, but it's thrown H out of balance. So now I need to, so now I've got the N and the O balance, but I don't have the H, but if I put a two here, so I've got two N's, four H's, two O's. So there's my equation on number eight, again, on this worksheet. And again, I have this posted both on my website and on canvas okay let me do one more last one and then we'll stop copper now copper is not one of those diatomics uh, plus sulfuric acid so remember a tick i test so sulfuric acid h is a one sulfate is a two remember how we wrote the formula so we crisscross those over so you can see how chemistry constantly builds on itself yields Copper 2 sulfate, so that means copper is a 2. Sulfate is a 2. So remember, they're the same numbers. They cancel out. Plus water. Plus sulfur dioxide. Remember when they had prefixes, I liked those better because I didn't have to look up the charges and cross them over. Okay, so there's the skeleton equation. Okay, so I've got copper, sulfur, hydrogen, oxygen. Remember, I always do oxygen at the end. Same thing here, copper, sulfur, hydrogen, oxygen. Okay, so I've got one copper, I've got one sulfur, the four goes to the O, I have two H's and I have four O's. Two H's, four O's, one sulfur. Over here I've got one copper, I have one sulfur here and one here, note that. So I have two sulfurs, I have two hydrogens, and now look at oxygen, four plus one is five and two more is seven. Okay, so copper is balanced, sulfur is not. So I need to put a 2 here to get two sulfurs. But when I did that, that's changed the H. So now I have four H's and I have eight oxygens. Okay, so then here I need 2 times 2. So, so I've got copper balanced, sulfur balanced. But when I put the 2 there to balance the hydrogens, now I've got 4 plus 2 plus 2. And so there it is. So I put a two in front of the sulfuric acid and two in front of water. Okay, that is a good place to stop. So you guys were on this weird schedule. And like I told 
think it was the B cohort. I mean, now's a time where you make excuses and it's just a hard, this is a hard time for everybody. But I just challenge you to just be the best you can in these hard times and work hard um, through this and, and work on your chemistry. So, okay, guys, have a good rest of your day and work on some chemistry. Bye.